Aloha from the Big Island. I'm Dr. Samal Desai, and I had the pleasure today of working with my friend and colleague, Dr. Susan Taylor. We did a seminar in depth session where we dove in deep specifically about vitiligo and everything from the new FDA approved topical ruxolitinib indication where you can use it twice daily. Remember in the clinical studies, ruxolitinib 1.5% cream was studied as monotherapy. So it can be used as a single agent for patients with vitiligo and typically used in less than 10% body surface area, a JAK1-2 inhibitor in a topical formulation that's now approved. We also talked about using oral antioxidants such as polypodium leucotomus and alpha lipoic acid combined with vitamin C and vitamin E as a systemic buffer for patients suffering from vitiligo. The use of oral dexamethasone as mini pulse therapy, the four milligrams on Saturday and the four milligrams on Sunday, when you do that for six to eight weekend increments, helps to control and stabilize unstable or rapidly progressing vitiligo. And it goes without saying that narrowband UVB and eczema laser phototherapy really are still a critical part of our therapeutic armamentarium. We circled back though to the JAK inhibitors because JAK stat inhibition in vitiligo is so exciting and is such an important part of what we do. The ruxolitinib data shows that in 24 weeks, patients achieved an FVASI 75, nearly one in three subjects achieved that. We had almost 15% of subjects achieving a facial VASI score improvement, FVASI 90. So there's an incredible amount of data in the use of JAK inhibitors, which really, in my opinion, are now foundational in our therapeutic regimen for treating vitiligo. Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Taylor. Dr. Samal Desai and I had the pleasure of discussing vitiligo, the newest treatments, how we treat our actual patients from day to day. I want you to go on the Fall Clinical website, Free CME, learn all about vitiligo from the two of us.